Apple has officially launched its brand new iPhone lineup, powered by the A19 Pro chip. But here's where things get surprising. While Apple still dominates in single core performance, the story completely changes when we look at multi-core results. And honestly, this might be the first time in years that Apple feels a little behind. Let's break this down. The A19 Pro, which powers the iPhone Air, iPhone 17 Pro, and iPhone 17 Pro Max, manages an impressive 3,781 points in Geekbench single core. No doubt, Apple is still the king when it comes to raw single core muscle. But in the multi-core test, it only scores around 9,679 points. And that's where the shock begins. Because Samsung's upcoming Exynos 2600 absolutely flips the game. It hits around 3,309 points in single core. Yes, that's about 15% slower than Apple. But wait for it. The multi-core score is 11,256 points. That's nearly 15.5% higher than Apple's best. For the first time, Samsung's chip can claim a real win over Apple in raw CPU horsepower. And then comes Qualcomm. The new Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 is showing insane results too, about 3,393 in single core and 11,575 in multi-core, and that's not even at full speed. Its prime core was running at just 4 GHz when it can actually go up to 4.74 GHz. That means we could see even higher numbers once it's fully unleashed. Now think about it. Apple leading in single core, but Samsung and Qualcomm leading in multi-core and potentially GPU performance. This is the kind of shift that makes tech fans excited and nervous at the same time. Because for years, Apple had the upper hand in overall efficiency and performance. But now, the tables might be turning. To make things even more interesting, Samsung is rumored to ship the Galaxy S26 Pro and S26 Edge with the Exynos 2600 in regions like South Korea, Africa, Southeast Asia, and Europe, while Snapdragon takes charge in markets like the US and China. That means no matter where you are, Samsung's upcoming phones could finally deliver performance that not only rivals but actually beats Apple's flagship chips in some key areas. So, here's the emotional twist. If you're an iPhone fan, you still get unmatched single-core power. But if you're on Team Android, for the first time in years, you can proudly say, yes, our chips are faster. And if you're just a tech lover like me, this competition is nothing but beautiful because it means faster, more powerful devices for everyone.